Wrexham AFC just lost $3.7 million, but Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhinney shouldn't be worried yet. But first, let's backtrack to the beginning, back to 1864, when the sport of football was an afterthought in Wales, or at least it was an afterthought until Wrexham Cricket Club stepped in. That's when they decided they also wanted a sporting activity for the winter. So in October 1964, the first ever club in Wales was formed, Wrexham Association Football Club. Fast forward two centuries later and a lot has changed. Mankind stepped on the moon, the first car was invented, and Oakland lost two professional sports teams. Yet there's one thing that survived it all, Wrexham AFC. That being said, as of 2020, Wrexham was struggling more than ever before. They were in five million million dollars worth of debt and completely irrelevant in the soccer world. The Wrexham Red Dragons had even been relegated from League One, which is two divisions below the Premier League, to the National League, which is five divisions below the Premier League. To make matters even worse, in 2019 and 2020, the club finished 19th in points per game, the lowest position ever in the club's 150-year history. Simply put, the fans deserve better. These lifelong fans desperately needed encouragement, especially given the fact that the COVID-19 pandemic was in full swing. But barring some dramatic change, Wrexham AFC was on the verge of extinction. Fortunately, two fans decided enough was enough, and that it was time to revive one of football's most historic clubs. So on February 9th, 2021, they put pen to paper and a new era in Welsh football began. Only, these weren't your average football fans. These fans were actually Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhinney, two of the world's biggest actors. And naturally, fans were excited to see if Reynolds and McElhinney could fix the club's losing culture, to the extent that 98.6% of the Wrexham Supporters Trust 2,000 members approved the ownership change. However, it wasn't just Wrexham fans who were excited about the change. The entire world was. And six months after the transition, Wrexham became the first ever non-league team to be featured in FIFA due to such a high demand from fans. But still, the question remained. Why would two incredibly successful actors want to purchase a failing Welsh football team? Well, the answer is simple. Humphrey Kerr. As it turns out, Kerr is a massive football fan, who just so happened to be a writer on McElhinney's show Mythic Quest. Kerr recalls, I would always be watching football in the writer's room, and he eventually got McElhinney to take interest in the sport. The idea of promotion and demotion was incredible to me, McElhinney states. And after countless hours of watching football, McElhinney eventually wanted to purchase a team of his own. There was only one problem. He needed movie star money. And this is where Ryan Reynolds enters the story. Reynolds has always been a well-known football fan, so McElhinney figured it was worth a shot. Little did he know, Reynolds, a movie star he had never met, was all in on the idea. But there was still an elephant in the room that needed to be addressed. Because these guys could have bought almost any team they wanted, but instead they bought a Welsh football club worth only $2.76 million. But according to Humphrey Kerr, this decision wasn't an accident. It wasn't about the glamour. It wasn't about the commercial viability, Kerr states. It was purely a desire to find a place that wore its heart on its sleeve as a football town that that needed a bit of a helping hand, because that's what we felt we could give. And they weren't kidding, because it didn't take long before things started to change. In rebuilding the team's roster, the actor spent almost $5 million, which is unheard of in a league where players' salaries averaged less than $50,000. For reference, $5 million is about three times more than Wrexham's team's salary from the previous season. And as a result of this influx of cash, Wrexham made an unfathomable 18 signings as of July 2022. From signing Manchester United talent to attracting EFL goal machine Sean Brisley, Wrexham wasn't afraid to make a splash. Then, to top it off, Reynolds and Macklin and he also sunk millions in replacing the field and renovating the historic racecourse ground which was built in 1864. In other words, Wrexham AFC went from trying to keep their head above water to spending the most amount of money in league history. And the result of the second chance? Season ticket sales tripled and average attendance increased to almost 10,000 people per game in the 10,500 seat stadium. That means they sold out nearly every single game and that's with the renovation. And this boom in attendance significantly increased match day income. This past year alone, tickets and concession sales accounted for a whopping $3.2 million in revenue. And as if that wasn't enough, Reynolds and McElhinney also used their connections to bring in some big-time sponsors. Since taking over, they replaced the team's main sponsor, a local trailer manufacturer, with more well-known brands like TikTok and Expedia. All in all, these various changes, like new sponsors and stadium renovations, brought in more revenue than ever before. So much so that Wrexham AFC generated over $7 million last year alone, a 404% increase over the $1.8 million from the year prior. So if all this is true, why hasn't the team actually made any money? In fact, they've actually lost money since the acting duo took over. $3.7 million to be exact. Well, to put it simply, it's because Reynolds and McElhinney could afford to lose it, all while they attempted to completely change the culture of the club. And it's unlikely that Wrexham is done spending money anytime soon, since Ryan Reynolds just sold his phone company Mint Mobile to T-Mobile for $1.35 billion. And with this type of money in the bank, it's only a matter of time until they sign a big-time star like Tottenham Hotspur's forward Harry Kane. In fact, following Reynolds' sale of Mint Mobile, Wrexham's odds to sign the English legend jumped to 28-1. to 1. Not too shabby for a lower division up-and-coming football club. But it's not just the influx of 
money are the fans that will eventually recruit a big time star to Wrexham AFC. It's also the winning culture that they're building. Since the actors took over the club, Wrexham has been nothing short of magnificent. In 2021-22, they finished second in the Vanarama National League, before eventually losing 5-4 to to Grimsby Town in the playoff semifinal. Afterward, they also reached the 2022 FA Trophy Final before losing 1-0 to Bromley. And while they didn't win these games, it was still an encouraging sign for the future. And it seems like their big break is finally on the way, because a few weeks ago, the club made history. Following a 3-1 victory over Boreham Wood on April 22nd, 2023, Wrexham gained promotion for the first time in 15 years. And starting in August, they'll compete in League 2 of the English Football League, the fourth highest tier in English soccer. And while they still have a long way to go, it's hard not to be encouraged about their future. After winning the Vanarama National League, fans finally got the victory they desperately needed. And at the end of the day, that's why Reynolds and McElhinney purchased the team in the first place. They wanted to take a team without much success and give them a sense of newfound hope. Although to say Wrexham AFC has newfound hope would be an understatement. In fact, as of August 24th, 2022, they even have their own docuseries called Welcome to Wrexham, spanning 18 episodes on FX, Hulu, and Disney+. And through watching this series, it's become even more evident. This team has more confidence now than ever before. However, I'd be remiss to think Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhinney are fully satisfied, because let's be honest with ourselves. It's every football fan's dream to see their team reach the summit. And for wildly successful stars like Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhinney, who have reached the summit in their respective careers, something tells me they want to see Wrexham AFC also reach the summit. And in stating his long-term goals, Reynolds admits, we'd be lying if the dream wasn't the Premier League. We want to get back in the football league and continue our way upward. So while their short-term success has been nothing short of magical, the sky's the limit for this team. Honestly, it's the definition of a true underdog story. Less Ted Lasso and more Rocky. It's the story of someone who goes from nobody to the center of attention in a matter of seconds. When Apollo challenged Rocky to fight, he was an unknown fighter from Philadelphia with the heart of a lion. Similarly, when Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhinney purchased Wrexham AFC, they were a forgotten football club with a loyal fan base and players that gave it their all. And in both cases, they became extremely likable when opportunity finally came calling. In other words, Wrexham AFC is the underdog story that everyone can root for, with a fan base that's now bigger than the team could have ever imagined. This includes Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhinney, who claim to be invested for the rest of their lives. So hop on the Wrexham AFC bandwagon, because they're not going away anytime soon. And neither is the NBA, because despite all of their recent success, NBA expansion is inevitable. So if you want to stay in the know, subscribe to the channel and click the video on the screen. I'll see you guys there.